dreams do give answers to any questions, but only if you care to ask before sleep. The method of soliciting dreams, interpreting them, and confirming their meaning is explained in my book, Dare Asking Your Dreams for Answers. 15 videos are also posted on YouTube under Isabel Toroella. I have been dreaming on demand for 25 years in order to obtain information unknown to the conscious mind and to understand what motivates me. The method called dream incubation is still used in many cultures. I revisited the original technique for the Western mind to ultimately make the dreamer be his or her own master. Dreams have impacted my life in a way I could not imagine and for the better. How so? Let me backpedal a bit and tell stories that explain many of my motivations, goals, beliefs and ailments that I needed to correct and in a creative fashion. Now, here are the stories. Let me give two examples, one on health, the other about my mission. My husband woke up one day with a terrible pain on his right side. Because his mother had gallstones, we thought he likely had the same condition. We went to the hospital. He was sent home with an antibiotic for pneumonia. The following night, my dream told me that the diagnosis was wrong. The next dream recommended a night practitioner for allergies. Five years have passed. The gallbladder is still there, no pain, no recurrence. The second example is about my mission. I was getting very negative responses concerning the validity of my dream work in spite of the fact that none of the individuals were willing to even try the method. One of my relatives was particularly scornful. However, my dreams were positive and encouraged me to pursue this path. But the relentless put downs still left some doubts in my mind. When departing from France, I decided to ask for a daytime synchronicity or clue, my other clairvoyant medium. God, please tell me today, should I invest in my dream work? The message came in the form of a movie projected in the airplane on my way back to the US. And the movie was Field of Dreams, meaning, yes, I should pursue my path. When it comes to help others, dreams allow better guidance. One can simply ask, what does so-and-so need from me? If the person is difficult to approach, it can be done through meditation. When Timothy McVeigh's trial ended, I was curious to know whether I could ease his pain at the time of execution. To my surprise, he told me via my dream that he had been waiting for me. Why? He said he had lost his balance when inoculated during the war in Kuwait. His higher self knew I wanted to personalize vaccination because I had been paralyzed twice myself following injections against diseases. Apparently, this justified fight entitled me to help him. For me, the two paralysis episodes were a karmic replay to bring my attention back to Auschwitz. As for McVeigh, he suggested that I meditate on the light when he was put to death. I did. At night, I wanted to know how the meditation had affected him. He said that in the past, he was into the habit of reincarnating to experience darkness. Next time around, his choice would be to make a change and to select the light. My second example concerns a man who was in continual physical pain with 
no solution in sight. He was taking three potent painkillers that left him drowsy day and night. When I turned to him in my dreams, I learned that he had worked for Nazi intelligence during his former life and tortured people. Again the Nazis, sorry, they are part of my mission. The man was now feeling the suffering of his victims. I was dream informed to meditate first on the color lilac blue, then on white placed on two different parts of his body. When the meditations ended, I thought, then what? Well, the day after I came across him on the street, he was delighted. The reason? He had found the right physical therapist who shortly after my first meditation had removed most of his discomfort. He now only needed half of one of his three remedies. I think that the meditation did put him on the path to meet the physical therapist. As for him, he just considers himself lucky. Here is my personal comment to him. Incubate a dream to know whether my intercession made a difference you cannot know with your conscious mind alone. My question is about music. How did Mozart, Sonata for Violin and Piano affect me? The performing violinist is German. In the dream, I am escaping scary people with my husband, meaning fear remains even though you are whole by now. The dream continues. We keep entering a labyrinth of all white empty square rooms. I understand you are turning in circles in this unfamiliar environment of deleted karma. In the next scene of the dream, the rooms are separated by doors with U-shaped metal handles like on our kitchen cabinets. I am told, moving out of this situation is up to you, even though you perceive it as difficult. Handle it and get ready for the last step. In the final part of the dream, I know that if we break free to the deserted beach, we still will be visible. We are doomed to be caught no matter what. The advice is, time to make yourself visible to the world, I suppose, through my dream work. There is no other way. I waited 25 years for this news. Another dream made it clear that the fear was about accessing the unknown. Interestingly, the initials of Mozart mean victory in becoming my own authority and achieving my life commitments. <laughs>